Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, October 22nd, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 754 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, a bunch of dramas get their opening Douban ratings, including Sense of Time, The Heart, and Ripe Town. An old Chang Chahan drama, Castle in the Time, is rumored to premiere in December. Pai Mom is getting an American remake, Jia Ling will be involved. And Lei Zhang says he's ready to take on Hollywood. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. And we usually begin with what's recently premiered, but nothing to report for today and the past few days. So we begin with dramas that recently confirmed their premiere dates. I have just one for you guys today. Blooming, starring Ellen Fang and Huang Ruying, announced yesterday an October 22nd premiere. The costume drama had wrapped filming in November 2021 and passed review and obtained an online record number in January this year. Ellen Fang last starred in Love Forever Young, which came out this summer. Before that, he had supporting roles in The Long Ballad and The Eternal Love 3. Huang Ruying last starred in Wuling Heroes, which came out earlier this year. Blooming tells the story of a romance that develops between Zhao Tan Tan, played by Huang Ruying, and her ingenious senior brother, played by Ellen Fang. On Senior Brother's forehead, he has a flower that blooms when he's emotional, but when it blooms, it falls into the devil's hands. Blooming is slated for 30 episodes and will stream on Yuku. And that's it for drama premiere dates. Next up, opening Topan ratings. I have five for you guys today. Starting with Tiger and Crane, the costume drama starring Jiang Long and Zhang Lingha. It opened with an average score of 5.4 from almost 4,900 ratings on Topan. Scent of Time, the costume drama starring Zhou Ye and Wang Xingyue, opened with a 7.1 from around 9,400 ratings. This is the poster the drama shared a couple of days ago to announce the score to their followers. More on the drama later on. Then there's Romance on the Farm, the costume drama starring Joseph Cheng and Tian Siwei. It opened with a 7.5 from around 10,400 ratings. They shared this poster a couple of days ago to announce the score on Weibo. The Heart, the modern medical drama starring Mark Chow, Rachel Mao, and Jing Sejia, opened with a 7.9 from around 11,000 ratings. They shared this poster a couple of days ago to announce the score on their Weibo. The opening rating has been labeled the highest for a medical drama in 2023. Earlier today, the score jumped to 8.1 and they shared this poster to announce it. Lastly, and the highest of the lot, Ripe Town, the costume drama starring Bai Yufan and Ning Li. It opened with an impressive 8.5 from around 10,700 ratings. This is the poster the drama shared a couple of days ago to announce the score on Weibo. They also shared this one earlier today after the score increased to 8.6. Some really good scores for some recently premiered dramas. With the exception of Tiger and Crane, they all opened over 7. As always, when dramas get their opening Topan ratings, I ask those who followed or are still following any of the dramas, what do you think about the scores? Too high, too low, or just about right? Let us know in the comment section below. Next up, I wasn't sure what to make of this when I stumbled upon it, but I thought I'd just mention it and you guys can make of it what you will. An old Chang Chahan drama, Castle in the Time, is rumored to premiere. If you look at the drama's Wikipedia page, it says that the drama, which co-stars Park Min Young, will broadcast on December 27th this year on Lala TV Japan. There are also articles, in Japanese mostly, reinforcing that it will indeed be airing there and then. I searched Lala TV and couldn't find Castle in the Time, but that's maybe because it's not up yet, or maybe just because I did a poor job navigating the site as it's in Japanese. I had a look at their Chinese drama section, and there were other dramas like Ancient Detective, The Blue Whisper, and Word of Honor, etc. So there's no official Weibo page for Castle in the Time, but from what I could gather, the drama was filmed in 2016, seven years ago. It was said to have done reshoots to replace Park Min Young with Lee Yi-chen, presumably because of the Korean wave ban at the time. 
in February 2021, the drama actually passed review and got a distribution license for 36 episodes, but eventually, because of Zhang Zhehan's cancellation, the project was shelved. Could it really be back on? Will it be Park Min Young or Lee Yijun? Guess we'll find out a couple of days after Christmas. According to Wikipedia, which has Castle in the Time slated for 38 episodes, the drama follows a paleontology student who applies for work at an entertainment company. While there, she encounters a Chinese actor who's just returned from Hollywood and a romance blossoms. That's it for drama updates, moving on film updates. Hi Mom, the 2021 Chinese comedy tearjerker starring Jia Ling and Zhang Xiaofei is getting a Hollywood remake. That's according to this recent Variety article which says Sony has landed the remake rights. Hi Mom was a huge critical and commercial success when it came out during the Lunar New Year. According to Variety, it was the world's highest grossing film directed by a solo female before Barbie overtook it recently. The remake is still in its early stages, they are still in the process of adapting the screenplay. Jia Ling, who directed and starred in the original, will serve as executive producer. She said, I am looking forward to this cooperation, and I am so glad that my story with my mom can be shared with more people. I believe that while everyone's story with their mom is unique, the love in these stories is universal and something we can all resonate with. I remember watching Hi Mom a couple of years ago and specifically thinking Hollywood is going to pick this one up. Watch them cast Jennifer Lawrence in the lead role, you heard it here first. Anyway, going into Hi Mom, I didn't really know what to expect except for what I'd read in the synopsis. Watching it, I laughed out loud and at times I swear someone was cutting onions nearby. Coming out of it, I was floored by the ending. Hi Mom tells the story of a devoted daughter who mysteriously time travels back to 1981 and meets her young mother. She attempts to improve her mother's life using what she knows in the future, but her plans repeatedly go awry, leading to heaps of laughs. And speaking of laughs, I have to point out Shen Teng, pictured here on the left, for his outstanding comedic performance. Jia Ling has described the film as a tribute to her real-life mother who passed away tragically several years ago. The film is based on her memories of their time together. Speaking of Hollywood, we go to celebrity updates. Lei Zhang recently announced he's ready to take on Hollywood. On October 18th, Lei revealed in an interview with Variety that he had recently signed a contract with a Hollywood agency and started working on various tasks. The 32-year-old singer-actor said, I want to be an actor who can bridge between Chinese and American culture. I hope that the success of No More Bets in China is just the beginning of being able to be recognized as an actor in the US. No More Bets is a crime movie that aired in China in August and was a huge commercial success. Lei stars in it with Gina Jin. He can also be seen starring opposite Jackie Chan in next year's A Legend, the sequel to the 2005 martial arts adventure flick The Myth. Lastly, for celebrity updates, I want to mention the meet and greet that Scent of Time recently held. The recently premiered costume drama's cast, Zhou Ye, Wang Xingyue, Peng Chuyue, Zhang Yijie, and Zhao Qing, all showed up and were in great spirits. In the approximately hour-long event, there were games, songs and dances, and audience interactions. At one point, Wang Xingyue flashed his abs as the audience cheered him on. And that's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 194, October 22nd, 2023. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday, 
We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, The Bionic Life. The modern drama stars Sung Wei Long and Vicky Chen. Number 9, The Inextricable Destiny. The costume drama stars Irene Song and Wang Yushuo. Number 8, South Wind Knows. The modern drama stars Cheng Yi and Zhang Yixi. Number 7, Bright Eyes in the Dark. The modern drama stars Johnny Huang and Zhang Jingyi. Number 6, Parallel World. The modern drama stars Nini and Bai Yu. Number 5, Tiger and Crane. The costume drama stars Jiang Long and Zhang Linghe. Number 4, Hilarious Family. The costume drama stars Liu Ling and Jackie Lee. Number 3, Ripe Town. The costume drama stars Bai Yufan and Ning Li. Number 2, Scent of Time. The costume drama stars Zhou Ye and Wang Xingyue. And number 1, Romance on the Farm. The costume drama stars Tian Xiwei and Joseph Zheng. Romance on the Farm is championed for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 569 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Sunshine by My Side. The modern drama stars Xiao Chan and Bai Bai He. Number 9, Against the Light. The modern drama stars Zhang Hanyu and Larry Kalan. Number 8, Love in the Green Mountains. The modern drama stars Li Jian and Zhu Rui. Number 7, Spy Game. The modern drama stars Han Geng and Wei Daxun. Number 6, Stay Young, Stay Passion. The Republican era drama stars Yang Shuo, Zhang Han, and Guo Xiaoting. Number 5, My Precious. The modern drama stars Huang Zitao and Rain Wang. Number 4, Alliance. The modern drama stars Zhang Xiaofei and Huang Xiaoming. Number 3, Never Too Late. The modern drama stars Eva Wang and Deng Jie. Number 2, Mr. and Mrs. Chen. The Republican era drama stars Guan Xiaotong and Elvis Han. And number 1, The Heart. The modern drama stars Mark Chow, Rachel Mao, and Jing Sijia. The Heart ends the week with 565 points, making it champion for a second week running. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week ahead and I will see you guys Tuesday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers!